Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and today I'd like to spend some time showing you how your Salesforce implementation can benefit from the ClickSense platform. First and foremost, the technology to integrate ClickSense with Salesforce begins with the Salesforce Data Connector and our APIs. The Salesforce Data Connector allows users to access and combine data from not only Salesforce, but from many other data sources. And we don't mandate where your data should be stored. It can be stored in the cloud or on-premise. And our extensive open APIs allow you to embed the ClickSense platform and its analytics directly into Salesforce for a seamless user experience. When combined with the ClickSense platform, the power of the Click Associative and Cognitive Engines translates insight into action with a responsive and visually rich experience coupled with AI that not only learns from the data, but from you as well. In addition, data from Salesforce can also be brought into Click's unique data layer, providing historical analysis of Salesforce data. This capability allows users to spot trends and shifts in customer behavior over time, delivering a comprehensive view of the account and opportunity life cycles. ClickSense analytics can be easily created using the ClickSense interface and stored within ClickSense apps. These same analytics can be embedded into Salesforce using more extensive ClickSense platform APIs or from simple embeddable HTML tags. Each visualization offers the embed chart feature, which provides many configuration options to easily embed your insights. Just take the embeddable tags and drop them into VisualForce pages and tabs to integrate them into a Salesforce instance. Secure communication between Salesforce and ClickSense is possible using industry standard authentication methods like SAML to only allow the users you want to have access to ClickSense content. And once a user authenticates into ClickSense, you can use Salesforce attributes in conjunction with ClickSense data reduction to control capabilities and restrict access to applications and specific data within. In part two, I'll provide an example of a ClickSense app embedded into Salesforce. 